Hello everybody! Muto here, welcoming you to another episode of Shining Force, Resurrection of the Dark Dragon. In the last episode... <laughs> I can't even do that. In the last episode of phantasmagorical stuff, we completed the second battle, got back to Guardiana, found out that our master, uh, Lord Varios, father of Mai, has died. Cain killed him. And the king has died. Ah, quite an episode, wasn't it? So, now we must look for the secret of the legacy of the gods to see if we can find some way to break the seal before Runefoss does. And it seems that Runefoss' army is an altered one looking for it. So, let's see if we can find it before they do. Oh, another battle. Great. Destroy all enemies, get their altar one. Do it in ten turns, you get 400 coins. No big deal. Alright, let's do this. BTFL, as I feared, Runefoss has set a trap for us. Our forces are too small, we can't afford to divide them. Besides, our objective is not to fight, but to reach altar one. We could use a decoy to lure the enemy away, allowing BTFL to reach altar one. You don't always have to fight in order to win the battle, you know. Okay, listen everyone, we can't afford to get separated. We'll take them on one by one. <laughs> yeah, like I would ever do that in this battle. Usually what I do is I send both of my knights over in this direction because there's some giant bats we can lure over. And they get fought there and then get put to sleep because that's what the giant bats inflict. They inflict sleep way too often. And then the rest of my forces I send this way to fight the dark dwarves and then I kind of split them up. They have a few fights with bats and then... The rest of them fight the five rune knights waiting for us here. That's what I do. So let's see how well that doesn't work. I guess while we're going through this, I can explain Nye a little bit. My strikes me as just another average knight. Nothing really stands out about her. Though, I do believe she is stronger than Ken is. I forget if it was the original or this one, but the guy that I was looking at actually recommended Mai for an end-of-game team. I don't know about that. I mean, she, she might be actually pretty good in this game. I wouldn't know. I went by what I knew in the first, er, first game, in the original. I just went with that, and it worked pretty well. It's just, you need to do a little bit of grinding for some of them. I think my focus is going to be to level Gorta. Well, pretty much everybody, because Hans is level 5. Blaze level 2. He's so useful right here. I can hit both the bats with him. Usually by this point I'd have um, Tao either leveled enough to know it or she'd learn it in this battle. It's pretty decent damage. Not aiming for the gold here, because really 400 coins they don't really need it. Because all I really use it for is to buy weaponry. So I, I don't really think I'm gonna need it. I mean, you get enough money from fighting the monsters anyway. Grinding in this game is a little wacky though, because there's no like random encounters. Just like whatever's here is whatever you get to fight. So basically, you have to redo battles. Which is simple enough. I mean, there's items that'll let you escape from battle. And Max's 
starting spell pretty much does just that. You spend 8 MP and you can leave the battle whenever you want. But of course there's also items that will do that. Just depends. If you want to grind, then it can be useful. Especially in this game where you can actually thin out your forces. Like if I wanted to go into battle with just me, I could go into battle with just me. And how's the sleep? Sleep? It's a very annoying status ailment. Because getting hit does not, like, bring somebody out of sleep, as you would expect it to. I mean, they lose their turn completely. And I, I don't know if an antidote cures it. And I don't think you can get antidotes at this point in the game. So, might be stuck with it. There is an item that prevents it, but I don't think there's more than one in the game. Because there's the bats. The bats can inflict it really just by attacking you. And then some of the later enemies um, actually have sleep spells. But they don't use it much. You use more like muddle and stuff like that. Cannon's level 3, HP went up by 2, and that was it. Can you could use some defense. Hans does. Does 8 damage, it's pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty much out of the level. He's only getting 6 from attacking him. It's kind of to be expected though. You don't get much from just attacking. Gong's not even getting 48 from killing him. Attack and defense went up by 2, that's good. Speed went up by 2, MP went up by 1. Resistance went up by 2%. Pretty good. She's still asleep. The bats have been taken care of, which is... They got take a, taken care of quite faster than I would expect them to be. Alright. I'm take this one on. Because I want to level Max up. Maybe I should have just named him Max. That's what I'm calling him anyway. Wait, did he just one-shot that? I wasn't even paying attention. Attack went up by one. Defense went up by three. That's good. Speed went up by four. HP went up by two. Resistance went up by two percent. That's good. Really, you want to have good magic resistance. Because later on in the game, the most, the most powerful attacks are considered magic. But I believe there's an enemy like way toward the end of the game that has two attacks. They look exactly the same, but you can tell them apart. Because if your defense is high enough, the regular attack will do one damage, and the magic attack will do around hmm, over 20. And, well, I don't know if it's actually considered magic or it just does 20. Like Sonic Boom from Pokemon. No idea. And even if you have, like, 60 health at that point, still, you get hit with that, like, three or four times, you're dead. Might as well send our two knights up there. Because they can move farthest. Just hit them with a mountain, and they're kind of screwed. defense, but I don't think getting fo hit four times a turn is a good thing for the hero. Nine points of damage. Not bad. Leveled. Attack went up by one. Defense went up by three. That's definitely good. HP went up by one. Alright. Decent level. And now, after about 
three turns, Tao's awake. And she can put back to sleep if a uh, bat hits him. I like how he just starts out and Gort's already taken like one damage. So. These, these knights have nothing on Gort already. He's level two, they have nothing on him. That's another thing that's left to do. Dodge. Luke, Luke can't hit anything. Gort can hit back now. And then miss. Great. I want to say bats don't like arrows. Ten points of damage, I believe I'm correct with that. Leave my assumption in, in that the flying bats do not like arrows is a good assumption. Go around. Got one shot. Alright, ten points of damage, that's not bad. Works more on goblin than dwarves. Which we kinda already got rid of them. So basically when you when you really look at it. The Dwarf Buster, or Demi-Man Buster, oh, my sleep. Should be asleep for the rest of the battle. The Dwarf Buster, or Demi-Man Buster, whatever you want to call it, isn't really that useful when there's only like six dwarves in the battle after you get it. And I don't think we're going to see any more goblins at all. We might see a few more Dark Dwarves, but not many. There might be like 40 in the next battle. And then after that, I don't think we see it. Oh wait, there's more in the battle after that. And I think after that battle, then they stop. How do we look on health? I'm good. Gong's good. Um... I think if he level once he let's hit dead. Once he hits level three, I think he gets a new spell. I think he gets detox. I think it's at level three. Who takes two points of damage from that? Eleven defense. The one point difference. Astounding. Ten points of damage. That is something come from a level two. Turn eight, we just might have this. It looks like the knights are gonna need a little help with this. There's still three more knights to go through? My god. Jesus. I can't get to any of them. Watchkin's gonna get put to sleep. Oh my god, I called it! That was probably not a good thing. So now both our knights are asleep. This is not a good thing. So maybe I shouldn't have called that. But then again, they can wake up decently fast. Not that they will, but they could. Taking one point of damage, counterattacking like a boss. <laughs> oh boy. They might need a healer over here. Let's let Luke swoop in, take the kill. Pretty good. Right, 
turn nine, I believe. Did we just fail it? I think we just failed it. It's no big deal. It's just money. No big deal. Like, really, the ones that give um, rare weapons or stuff, those are the ones you want to go for. Because, use the weapon or not, it's going to be worth some decent money, so. Attack went up by two, defense went up by one, speed went up by one, MP went up by one, resistance went up by two percent. Huh. Still asleep. But I hope I don't counterattack, bitch. Oh, looks like it's your lucky moment. One point of damage. It's just so funny to see that. Right, who needs any more? Still taking hits. How much you got? Eighteen. All right. Ah, Ken woke up. Good. Swoop in, take the kill, or not. Gort might have this. Swoop in, take the kill. Okay. Nine points of damage. Alright, just gained the level. Speed went up by one. That was it. Okay, not a very good level. That problem is solved. Come in here and take this kill from you. Like once I promote him, I probably won't be using him that much. Like, oh, we still got it. Cool. All right, enemies have all been defeated. Let's hurry to Alter One. Alright. We won't be here long. Just a little bit to do. This was empty. Wrong glance, which we don't need. This was empty. 70 gold coins. Oh, just remember we forgot the item back in Guardiana. I can get the off screen. I am the famous fortune teller, Michelle. Want to see your future? Nah. Well, people aren't always what they seem. So long, coward. Bitch. Alright. Let's see, we've got this girl here standing very close to the water. So let's push this cart at her. <laughs> Clumsy oaf. Push me into the damn water. Bitch. Oh wait, there's an item here. Power potion. <laughs> just happened to flail in that direction. Church here. Here, medical herb. Fryer doesn't seem to be in. That's interesting. Right, let's see what's Ooh, more stuff. Healing seed. This is pretty much an advanced healing item. Middle sword. Ooh, I want that. Middle sword. Eh, plays up a little bit. Ah. ah. Alrighty. What are we looking for? What was the shop? Oh, wait, probably right here. Stuff. You can see, don't need. 50 coins. Alright. I think it's right here that I want. Yeah, okay. Okay, this guy's solid dwarf busters, so you don't need them at all. You don't need to 
you know, do very good in that battle. Voodoo Staff. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Well, let's see if anybody can use this war thunder. I think just me. No, oh, Luke. Luke Gort could use it, but that's it. Yeah, I'll get a Voodoo Staff. To poison an enemy in mid-attack. Not a bad idea. It's more, it's more attack power, at least. Because I figure Blow's gonna do some attacking at some point. What's in here? 50 coins! Yeah, I'm BTFL. So it is you. Until recently, I was trained to be a knight in Guardiana. But just wasn't cut out for it, so I gave up and started a business here instead. You're very nice pupil, aren't you? How is everyone? Eh? What's that you say? Nice, we're annihilated. I see. I'll go to the castle and try to get you some help. So that's a plot point that wasn't explained. When you first get here... Right, good, you're still here. I went to the castle and told them about Guardiana. I'm sure they'll be happy to help you out. Why don't you pay the castle a visit? So that's how you'd solve that puzzle. But basically, when you get here, you go to the castle and they won't let you in. I think you tell him, it's like, you know, if Guardian is in trouble, and they're just like, you know, whatever. So you tell that guy, and he's like, you know, seriously, they're in trouble. It's like, alright, alright, we'll give him a listen. That kind of thing. Because usually this guy here will be standing in the middle, and it's like, no, you know, you know, help you get out. And then, of course, there's stuff to scavenge here. So, I'll get all the stuff off screen. So next time on Let's Play Shining Force, Resurrection of the Dark Dragon, we will explore Alta One Castle, possibly talk to the king in here, see if he can help us with the legacy of the ancients and the secrets of the gods and all that. But that'll be that next time, so until then, take care guys.